Hello everyone. Um, welcome to the channel. And uh, this is the first uh, code live streaming uh, that I am doing. And I'm planning to do more of this uh, on the open source project that I'm working on so that uh, we can uh, I can share with you on how uh, I work on the uh, open source project and also you know to uh, share ideas and uh, doing some uh, co-sharing pair programming session together so the um, uh, one special things for this uh, streaming is I'm using live share in the uh, Visual Studio Visual Studio code so uh, in the description, you would see the uh, link to the live share session. And if you're interested, you can uh, click on it uh, and uh, join the session so that you know we can work together. And that's enough said. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is to work on the um, the a bug that uh, I have. Let me actually open it up. Uh, second. Mm. Yeah, let me cancel, try again. There you go. So, um, and the bug that I'm working on is this one. And uh, it is saying that the class support in uh, Commando is not working in uh, JavaScript. And uh, to show you what I mean, let's go to the, the uh, code here. And you can see that the test I ran actually all passes as, and it includes this uh, test for uh, the classes. So you can see that say over here, I have a full class uh, and it's a very simple class. And then uh, you can use the commando to, to um, stop or uh, spy or simulate the, the, the uh, class. However, I, I discovered that some for some reason it doesn't work in JavaScript. Uh, it works in TypeScript, so I'm going to look into uh, look into this and see why is why that is the case. And um, if you notice on the top right corner, I have a timer. Basically, this would be a uh, Commodore time, uh, Commodore timer, and. Uh, so each live stream, I would uh, try to limit it to uh, one tomato length, which is 25 minutes, so that uh, it's easier to consume and then I can you know, follow the rhythm that I uh, work. And one last thing before we start is I, I want to apologize for the fan noise you might heard, you might hear that. And that is because for some reason, uh, the the um, the streaming software I'm using, which is Game Show, uh, when I'm using it, uh, for some reason it will ha it has a pretty high CPU usage, and also it. Uh, is it, and it also caused the uh, a process called Windows Server uh, to be running very high also. So let me sh show you what it means. You can see that the uh, game show is taking 70% and then the Windows Server is also very high. Uh, and that kicks the fans up and so it causing the noise. I tried to figure it out and try to fix this issue before I start the streaming and I've been trying for uh, almost a day now uh, to to do different things and I can't figure it out. 
So if any one of you, uh, when you watch this video, you know, you know what I need to do to get this fixed, uh, please, you know, uh, man, uh, comment it in the comment section, uh, comment section, so that uh, I can fix this issue, and your help will be much appreciated. So enough said. Uh, let's get back to here, uh, and let's get working. As I said. Uh, the the code is working in TypeScript, and I would assume supposedly it should work in JavaScript too, but somehow it doesn't. So what I'm going to do first is to start adding uh, some tests for uh, in, in JavaScript, uh, and I will first need to figure out what I how, how am I going to do that, right? So. Uh, this is all new, and as you know, this is unplugged. It it is really what I I uh, do when I coding. So we'll see how it goes. So now I have this. The first things I'm going to do is write a test. Uh, the way I by the way the way I set up the project is that I'm using Jest, and it does not create. Uh, does not transpile the file next to each other. That's why right now I can just create a file, uh, a new file called class.spec.js, and uh, it won't conflict with the TS version, and it, it should be fine. So um, let's start with uh, something simple. Uh, JS test. I want to make sure that I have the environment set up correctly, so that uh, it will work. So we'll just do nothing. Uh, well, test it. Okay. So of course, right now it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't run that test. It's only running the TS files because uh, I have not set up uh, just to run any test in uh, JS. So I'm going to fix that. Fix that and then see. Let me stop this and run again. And then see if does it pick up the test. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, it does test. Yeah, so you can see that that is running. And then so let's. Uh, Filter it out so class back dot uh, js so that I can just focus on that one. So so let's see. So the story is this: if I'm doing this correctly, this will fail. Uh, so I'm just creating a function, doing nothing. Say let's say return one. Uh, okay. And then uh, I will be including the commando, and I'm not sure we did work, but we'll let's see. Let me we'll see. Uh, so console log commando and see if it nice. Uh, we get something. Of course, I'm not getting the right thing because. Uh, I'm under the class folder, so if I do this, there you go. Very nice. I get all this stuff, and that should give me the spec. So spec equals to oh, I can just do this spec equals to commandor, and then spec, and there you go. So I am. I, Able to use it. Uh, that's excellent. Much better than I expected. So I'm going to do this. Okay, so it will still work. Nice. And then now the moment of truth. So because uh, in my test, uh, when I do this, it fell. Yes. So you can see that it fell. <laughs> Well, with this, if I was doing this as you saw in here, if I do this like do it like this, it will be fine. Of course, this the full text 
picking a constructor. So, uh, well, just for fun, uh, let me do the same thing. Okay. So let me do the same thing over here. And of course, in JavaScript, it doesn't have that. And then putting one, of course, it still fail, right? Because uh, the error occurred before it's actually being invoked. Uh, so let's put the fun aside, put it back. So now uh, we can see this, uh, see this error. So what happened? There is a apply target apply object apply doing all those things. Um, let's see. So it is in this spy class. It's the proxy. Um, Okay, so now I need to think about what is wrong. Uh, so the target um, let's see, so this is the proxy and this the target should be full. Uh, I can validate it by doing this. Yes, that is the full function. So the thing is when it calling this it fell. Um, which in a way yes it is because this is to in, in javascript they were thinking this is the constructor function and i'm just calling it directly here uh so however the problem is this is as far as i know this is how the proxy works um so this is this is a construct. Uh, let me go to from. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> let me fix this. Okay. Well, um, sorry. Something's wrong. Do you see the screen? No, you don't. Uh, hmm. That was kind of weird. Uh, again, sorry uh, about that because this is kind of the first time I'm working on this. So, <clears throat> so I need to do, I need to testing things out along the way. Uh, it, I had it working in the past. Uh, let's see, let me try to do this. Give me a second. So now, there you go. Okay, for whatever, whatever reason, I, I think that is a bug in, uh, in Game Show. But anyway, so <coughs> back to here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take a look at the JavaScript proxy. And then look at all of the method uh, maybe not the apply uh, construct trap for new operator. So when I'm calling that, I should uh, this should be invoked, right? This supposedly that should be invoked and that should avoid the issue. Right now, this is being invoked, and it is invoked because it's think that I'm making the call, you know. Uh, directly instead of calling new. So the reason for that to happen is, well, just in case, uh, I want to make sure that, okay, yes, it does this dot apply. Uh, so that's here. I guess that's why. Uh, well, to figure that out, This won't be called. Yep. 
this is get call so we know that that is calling this and that caused the problem so um, the reason I'm calling this is I'm creating the object uh, using this prototype using a subject prototype and then applying the making call calling the constructor function I got that oh <laughs> sorry I was working on the other screen and you didn't see it so you didn't know what I was talking about so I was doing it this here uh, so you I just make sure that you can see that the after uh, was being printed and if I put it over here the after doesn't get printed so it was uh, that was calling this I just run in test to verify right so you can see one two and then bump that the last one doesn't get uh, printed out so it is found here but of course you can already see that in the uh, in the trace so but I just want to run that make sure that that is the case so now so the problem is this line um, so the question is I'm doing this because I want to use that apply get the object to the constructor all those things um, so let me first go back take a look at you know what the what the code say uh, okay so let's finding uh, find extending constructor right it was doing it's doing this right I'm just following that to uh, to making a call but why this is failing um interesting with it still is is a bug in Node.js uh Node.js well Node.js no issue let me just go here and let me check Uh, one oh one thing is let me give me a second okay I have seven minutes yeah because the uh with the white background it, you you will have a hard time to see uh what the timer is so uh so let's go back to the work here. I am I need to search for proxy constructor uh apply oh, see if there's something show up. Um French box doesn't exist as info no nothing like that. So So what's the error that I have? So the error that I have is uh, can the proxy cannot be invoked without new? Mm, nope, no one's talked about it. Uh, so let's take a look. Check that out in from Google. Um, no, this is missing proxy. No proxy. Cannot invoke new. Uh, subject cannot be well new in testing. New on new keyword. Yeah, this looks a little bit. Uh,
Hmm. Apply sub apply. Okay, this doesn't use in the example. It doesn't use the um. It doesn't use the target, so that's that's why it doesn't have that problem. So the in this code, what is sub sub and base? You are extending. That is a sub dot prototype, which is the prototype, and oh the constructor. So over there, I'm calling this. I supposingly should be doing that. Nope. Uh, subject dot prototype. Hmm. Let's see. Is there any? This is the sub base sub. This should be a class already, right? Extending, extending a class and doing this class apply. So what am I missing here? Doesn't have anything. This is just doing some invocation, doing that, doing this. So if I'm reading correctly, the example in NDN will also fail. It will also fail the base. Hmm? Hold on a second. Extend. No, but either way, he, he it is calling this. It is calling this. Although this is a function, but this is not. Right? Not supposed to be a function. Although it, this is, so my hitting a bug. I'm. I think I am hitting a bug. Uh, so there are two ways I can handle this right now. One is well, do some more work. Let's see if. I can get this working. However, I really cannot, right? This time I try, I need to, because uh, I need to invoke the constructor somehow to pass the argument in. How am I going to do that? Well, that's why, well, if, if there's uh, someone who's interested and join the, join the session, well, we can solve this problem together. But uh, since not, so what I'm today, because this is the first time and so I am going to uh, open a question of, uh, in Note and maybe also in Stack Overflow. Uh, let's double check uh, to see if anyone asks something related. Uh, So how to dynamically okay. Uh, this This is all to alpha right, put a new define property modify descriptor. No, this is not this likely not what I want. Mm. 
some proxy issue here. That's very interesting. It looks pretty similar to what I have. Yes, uh, although it's calling it's calling a subject, but essentially it's the same thing. Yes, uh, refactor construct. Interesting. Interesting. So let's see if I can use that. Uh, the question is since when calling, I don't know if it is really a yes six or yes five. Uh, for TypeScript, I'm uh, transparent down to yes five. So, but uh, we'll see. First, comment these two out, and then object equals to ah uh, equals to uh the constructor in this case is the subject. Let's see. Yeah, it has. Um. So this let's first change this back to this. And then the question is, of course, does it work? Uh, well, first, full, uh, full dot do, it will be fine, nice, and then so t, uh, so let me t close to require assert. equal to one yes nice so that does work great um okay so of course for commando uh i need to make sure that uh, commando works right not just the proxy works um, so what I'm going to do is, is now it's time to name the test properly. Uh, let's say let's say JS. Um, well, let's copy what I have over here. Uh, not the acceptance test. Uh, well. What is my convention? I'm doing this. Yes, uh, class simple class uh, well, same same code would be sufficient. Okay, yes, it does save, and I can see that something is updated over here. So now the moment of truth simulate ah well but that's the other side uh that's the other side of the story because i fixed the spy over here and now i need to do the same thing i guess for over here so for stop Cannot be invoked without new, and it dies here. Mm. That's a problem. That's another problem. Oh well, but uh, the the time is up. Uh, one tomato is gone, and I think it's actually passed for uh, like almost four minutes now. Uh, but. The save is fine. Uh, so, of course, the simulator is not. And what I'm going to do is wrap this up. Uh, same class. Uh, how, how do I name? 
because I actually have not worked on this code for a while, for almost a, a month because I was busy at work. So uh, simple class simulate uh, each instance of class will get it on inside the all those things is fine, should not be calling it. What is the simple test? Let me see. Well, yeah, I just call it class simple. Uh, although it is not very, in a way, descriptive. And well, by the way, this is not too descriptive because uh, uh, I'm using a utility inside uh, Commando and the actual title is a little bit longer. So, uh, so, but over here, I don't really have to do it. I might uh, in the next round. So, but for the time being, because I, my time is up already, so let me just name it like that. And then let's say save is good, but of course I want to put it here to make sure that I uh, remind myself I'm not done yet. Um, so hopefully I enjoy it. Uh, this is the first tomato uh, and my first streaming. And well, uh, I will take a break and I might start another session and we'll see, but uh, hopefully you enjoy this uh, video. All right, bye-bye, see you next time.